In today's video, we're talking about Brittany Vassar's divorce. Recently, Brittany said she's falling apart. She's on the verge of quitting, and the situation is much worse than she's been able to share. Brittany Vassar is going through a horrific divorce. I've covered this in several videos on my channel. If you've missed any of these videos, go check out my Brittany Vassar playlist. I will have it linked at the end of this video. Brittany is also talking candidly about her divorce on YouTube. She's made several videos and she first stated that she would not be sharing details of the divorce or what happened, what went wrong with their marriage because she wanted to protect her kids. Two young kids and one day they might watch this video and I really do not want to say anything negative. But I don't think Brittany is staying silent. She's exposing Ryan. I go into more detail about why I feel this way in previous videos. This is one right here. Brittany drops a bomb that she had to hire a forensic accountant. Forensic accountants analyze financial data to look for evidence of crimes. So although Brittany isn't giving every little detail of what's going on right now, she's saying enough to damage Ryan's reputation. Although we don't know exactly what's going on because Brittany hasn't told us, she's only dropping hints. That leaves viewers and the general public to just assume a lot of things. If she really wanted to protect her kids and keep things off the internet, she would do it. But in my opinion, she's not doing it. She often goes on Instagram crying about her current situation and what she's going through. Again, she doesn't give every little detail about what's happening, but she makes it sound as if what she's going through is horrific. In my opinion, she's making it sound like she's the victim and Ryan has done everything wrong in this relationship. And maybe that's the truth. Maybe Ryan did do everything wrong in this relationship. Maybe he completely messed up. And Brittany is the victim. I don't know because we don't know the full story. We only know the little bits of information that Brittany keeps dropping. I am falling apart, you guys. Um, I'm on the verge of just quitting every... Oh. I don't believe this. I don't believe that she would just quit social media. And I think that's what she's referring to. Social media is her job. It's the way she provides for her kids, for herself. I don't think she would just wake up one day and say, okay, I'm done. I'm quitting. It doesn't matter what happens in life. If you are a parent, you have to work. You have to provide for your family. So even on hard days, parents have to get up and go to work because we have to provide for our family. And Brittany has the privilege of working from home alongside her children in her house where she's comfortable and feels safe, you know? A lot of parents don't have that privilege. Brittany gets to create her own schedule, work whenever she wants to work. She can work at eight o'clock in the morning or eight o'clock at night. She has so much freedom with her job. I, I'm dealing with a situation that is much worse than I've been able to share. Her comment makes my mind go to worst case scenario about Ryan. That makes me think he's, number one, a criminal because she had to hire a forensic accountant. And then also, a lot of viewers think he's a cheater. There are so many rumors and assumptions out there about what's going on. And I think Brittany's okay with people assuming whatever they want to assume because she's dropping hints and she's not telling the full story. So when you don't tell the full story, people gossip, people assume things, and it just is what it is. I'm struggling every day. And I think most people in her position would be struggling. I mean, she's going through a lot. She's going through a divorce. Her family is breaking up. She's currently living with Ryan in the same house. They're not even speaking. They're only communicating by text. I mean, I can't imagine living like that. And I feel like I have to continue working because with what I do, I have deadlines. I think most people have to continue working. You know, just because you're going through a divorce, you can't just say, okay, I'm going to quit and never work again. I think Brittany is trying to make it sound like just because she's a content creator, she has to keep working, but I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think it has anything to do with your occupation. If you're going through a divorce, if you're going through anything in life, you can't just stop working unless you have a lot in your savings account and you can get by on that, or unless you have someone else to pay your bills. Everybody has to keep working, you know, even through the tough times in life. It sucks, but we all do it. I have deals and all of this is so expensive. And with Without a doubt, I feel bad for her. She's in a tough season of life, but she keeps bringing up the financial aspect of this divorce. And I think it's very intentional. I know some viewers see content creators as 
a person on the internet just sharing their life. And I get that. I did that for many years, but I see content creators as opportunists because in my opinion, that's what they are. I've seen it way too many times. Content creators capitalize off of tragedy, death, exploiting people, trauma. When you see influencers and content creation for what it really is, you can never unsee it. YouTube, you can't just stop working. If you really want to, you can. Brittany, do you know what your girl Tiffany Beeston does when she doesn't want to film a video? She takes her old content and edits a bunch of clips from older videos together and she makes a new video out of it and she calls it a marathon. You could do something like that and you wouldn't have to film, you would just have to edit something together. In case you didn't know this, Brittany and Tiffany are internet friends, so I'm sure Tiffany would give her some tips and tricks on how to put out content without filming. But my point is, there are ways around this. Content creation gives you so much freedom and so much freedom to create whatever type of content you want to create. So Brittany's a smart cookie. She could definitely figure something out. Brittany wrote, it's taking every ounce of strength I have to keep going. I'm behind on everything and emotionally devastated. Brittany also posted this quote and wrote, I'm trying to be real about what I'm going through and some days are harder than others. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Do you think she's being real about what's going on? I don't. I think she's popping on Instagram every now and then crying, saying how devastating this is. She also brings up the financial aspect of divorce and cries about working, but she's not really saying what's going on. So a lot of people are assuming things now. I mean, it's a hot mess and it's a hot mess because she said she wasn't going to share, but she has continued to share little bits of information here and there. I think if she didn't want to share, she should have just not shared. She should just be quiet about it. So it's a little confusing as a viewer because I heard her say, I'm not going to share anything because I want to protect my kids and I don't want to say anything negative about Ryan. But then she went on and dropped some pretty shocking bombs about Ryan, about the divorce, and it's just getting messy. Now we know a forensic accountant analyzes financial data to look for evidence of crimes. And we know Brittany Vassar hired a forensic accountant. And honestly, this is just my opinion. I don't have any proof of this, but I think this forensic accountant is looking into Brittany's businesses. I think something shady and possibly illegal practices were happening behind the scenes. So Ryan quit his job. He now works for Brittany did work for Brittany. I don't know if he's still working for Brittany, but all of this information that she's dropping is leading me to believe that he was doing some shady things behind the scenes when it comes to her businesses. And I don't think she wants to put that out to the public for a number of reasons. It could make her viewers not trust her. It might make her look bad. And some people might think Brittany was a part of some of these shady illegal practices. All I'm saying is we don't know what's going on. All we can do is assume things based on the information that Brittany is dropping. What are your thoughts? What do you think is really going on? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you next time.